What's up guys, I'm Marquez702 here presenting a tutorial video on Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and X and Y as today guys I'm going to be teaching you if you already don't know how to trade or how to transfer your previous Pokemon from X and Y to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire if you do have both games and um, if you guys are wondering why are you doing this tutorial dude um, basically I found this out um, from a fan that actually reached out to me on Twitter after I got these two amazing freaking legendary Pokemon codes from GameStop after pre-ordering Sun and Moon, which was, yo, shout out to GameStop. But um, basically after that, he told me how to transfer those guys if I didn't already have Pokebank. And um, so I decided to, you know, make a video on it since it would help a lot of people if they already didn't even have it either. So basically, guys, what you're going to want to do is connect to the internet first. And um, what you're going to basically do is, you know, transfer any really awesome Pokemon that you have from X and Y over to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire um, if you don't have any really good Pokemon in here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go to the GTS, otherwise known as the Global Trading System. Save our game real quick, and uh, let's go ahead and get in here right now. Let's go ahead and freaking do this, because this is actually pretty easy, pretty simple, and um, it's, you know, really time, it's pretty time consuming if you don't have Pokebank and you don't do it that way. But overall, it's not really um, a hard way in order to actually transfer your Pokemon from different games. So, uh, what you're wanna gonna, what you're wanna do... Oh my god, what you're gonna wanna do is, um, since you're probably gonna have really nice Pokemon, really, like, really good Pokemon in X and Y, you're gonna wanna offer, um, you're gonna wanna offer to trade a really, like, worthless one, and you're actually gonna be trading it with yourself. So this is basically how it works. You're gonna be trading with yourself on your X and Y file with your ORAS file, and, um, you're basically just gonna be trading just a random useless Pokemon, such as Electric, that's my example. The Pokemon that I want is going to be my Infernape, which is in my X and Y game. So, we can't do it there. I'm going to have to freaking type it in. So, we're going to go ahead and freaking type all this in. Infernape. All right, in... Fur... Well, hold on. I can't spell for my life. Infer... God dang it, no! Okay. There we go. P and E. All right, there we go. Now that we have that done... We're going to go ahead and offer it for any gender, any level, and we're going to go ahead and deposit with these conditions. Check in the GTS status. We're going to go ahead and freaking put this up for trade if anyone wants it, even though no one's going to want an Electric for a freaking Infernape. Like, let's be real here. We're going to go ahead and offer it away. Goodbye, Electric. You'll be missed. Not even, <laughs> I'm not even, I'm not even being sincere. But, um, alright, now we can actually quit the GTS. Now that our Electric is up for trade, and now what we're going to go ahead and do, guys, is jump on over to our X and Y game, and go ahead and see what's up for trade for an Infernape or an Electric. So I'll be right back. Alright, now that we've made it over to our X and Y game, we're going to go ahead and connect to the internet, like I just basically did. And um, we're going to go ahead and jump on over to the GTS right here, and go ahead and search for ourselves um, an Electric, which is the one that we actually just put up for trade in Oraz. Let's go, dude. I'm ready. Go ahead and seek some Pokemon. We're going to go ahead and search for an Electric, which is right over here. Any gender, any level. Search with these conditions. And we're going to go ahead and get started right now. We're going to go ahead and look for this Pokemon. Now, something I do want to point out. Oh, yeah, by the way, right here. Uh, Pokemon that you want, Infernape. Wow, I actually have that one. So we got our level 11 female Electric, uh, Electric, Electric Eye, Electrica. That's what I renamed it. Alright, so there we go. We actually found ourselves. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But now what we're going to go ahead and do, guys, is make sure that the Pokemon that you're putting up for trade or you're going to trade does not have any Mega Stones or any TM moves. So we're going to go ahead and select this one. They are allowed to have any other items. Like, they just can't have a Mega Stone. Offer up the Pokemon for trade. So yeah, like level 55 Infernape right here. I'm going to go ahead and send it over to my Oraz file. Go ahead and trade it. Normally, this would be a terrible idea, because you can't just sell a, a, a freaking amazing starter Pokemon po Pokemon for, you know, anything, like, terrible, like Electric. But now we're going to go ahead and wish away our sexy Infernape. And we got ourselves the Electric that we sent over. That's nice. Yay, I love Electric. Disgusting. Look at that piece of crap right there. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Get that out of here. Take good care of electric. Electric. Whatever. Like I even care. 
All right, and there we go. We got ourselves Electrike in X and Y. But that means that we actually got ourselves Infernape in our Oras game. So you guys know what that means. We're going to go ahead and switch over to there. And I will check back with you all in a little bit. Yo, people, it's time. Let's go ahead and get onto that GTS right now. Go ahead and see what happened to our trade that we offered. Might as well just save our game, right? <laughs> and now we're going to go ahead and check the status of the GTS. Let's see what happened to our little Electrike. I mean, you guys already know what happened, but, you know, let's just see what happened on our end. So, let's just see what it says to us now. The Pokemon you deposited was traded. No way, bro! Bro! Give me that. Oh, snap. We got ourselves an Infernape. And Infernape came from the GTS. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, take good care of Infernape. I got you, fam. It's not like I raised it up myself. I mean, I didn't raise it myself. I got it from somebody else, like, a year ago. But anyway, that's not the point. We now have ourselves Infernape in our possession after trading it with ourselves from X and Y. So go ahead and organize our boxes, might as well. And Infernape is now in our freaking box for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And uh, if you guys are curious to see my team, this is usually my team. All right, so we got ourselves a freaking Shiny Greninja. Got ourselves Rayquaza. Then Latios, then Groudon, Deoxys, and my boy Trident, otherwise known as Swampert. So, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. That's my team. But, uh, yeah, we have more amazing Pokemon in our box right now, including the one that we just traded. And you can literally do this with any Pokemon from your X and Y game, guys. It's that simple. Um, unless they have a Megastone or they were taught, like, HM or TM moves. Pretty sure that's the only exception, but otherwise, you will be able to trade any Pokemon from X and Y over to Oras, and, um, with that being said, guys, it's gonna go and conclude this tutorial today. Hope you all did enjoy this, and, um, if you guys did, like, you know, kind of benefit from this and get help from this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate that, and, um, with that, I actually want to ask you guys question of the day. Um, what do you think is going to be the way of transferring Pokemon for Sun and Moon? Do you think that this will be possible? Since Oraz and um, X and Y are compatible with their training systems, they will be able to kind of, you know, kind of coexist with each other and trade whatever you want from both games. But do you, th do you guys think that it'll be the same for 7th Gen in Sun and Moon when the trading system will be introduced in that game? If not... I'm going to be really triggered because I have some really nice Pokemon in this game now. So that would suck if I can't actually send them over using this method. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that and if it's possible or not. And um, yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel if you are new, by the way, make sure as always to do that. And I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, guys, thank you all again for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Peace, Marquezies. Stay awesome.